open source software is a relatively new phenomenon. The first uh, real open source project, Linux, started to make a uh, real difference commercially about 10 years ago. And today it represents uh, something on the order of magnitude of 40% of all new server, computer server installations uh, are based on Linux. We're seeing similar things in databases and application servers uh, in a wide range of areas. But I think the real impact of open source is on the computer industry is twofold. First off, the fact that open source it can be free uh, it can allow new innovation to happen that wouldn't happen before. So to put it simply, companies like Google and Facebook could not and would not exist in their current form without open source software. Right? The cost to start a company and get, get a company up and ramp to a stage of generating revenue if you were to have to buy a Sun Solaris box and an Oracle database and all the other components would be prohibitive. So the many business models that are based on advertising could have never gotten started and to the point where they were if they weren't able to initially innovate um, for free. If you think in terms of a bricks and mortar company today, you know, how many more businesses would you see if the buildings were free? And that's fundamentally what open source has allowed, and it's just allowed just a mass wave uh, of, of innovation. Second and more subtle is open source is beginning to change the nature of where innovation is happening in technology. If you think back to the 80s, the glory days of you know, Xerox PARC, where PhDs spent time uh, on new innovations, or the R&D labs at some of the other major technology companies, those were the drivers of innovation. Yet if you look today, all the innovations in areas like big data and cloud are actually coming out of web 2.0 companies. It's Google, it's Amazon, it's Facebook. And these are companies that have their own problems to solve. And they're solving them in open source and contributing the, those solutions back. So the infrastructure software uh, that Google is running you know, is impacted by the contributions that Facebook makes uh, or that Amazon makes. And so because of these large Web 2.0 companies do virtually all of their development in open source, solving their problems right at the coalface, uh, we're seeing an acceleration in innovation in technology. Again, not directly because the source code is open, but because users are allowed now, because the source code is open, to do their own innovation.